Okay. We're going to have a conversation. Probably not going to make a lot of videos for this conversation. These are custom ice cubes in here. Made them for my wife's drink yesterday. I want you guys and gals to know that, and I may have already said this, the main purpose for me ever purchasing any tablet was to get it to draw so I can be more future-like because I wanted to get more into using the little catalog, personal catalog of images that I have. When I lived in the South, I did a lot of sketching, drawings, and just thoughts and everything else, and I put it on paper. And I'm going to say like 99.9% .9 of it is actual drawing. When I went to Atlanta for a couple of years and went to art school, I learned better ways to preserve stuff. And before I left from Atlanta to upstate New York, I made the decision of scanning roughly 1,200 to 1,300 drawings. And... It, it was basically like a snapshot of things that I had done in the past because one of the things that I learned was while in school, college, you are more creative when you're younger than when you are when you're older. So I wanted to preserve that young creativeness so that I can use it in the future. Better techniques. So on this tablet that I have now, this is the, my current tablet, iPad Pro 12.9 inch, love it, 2017 model. I have a bunch of words in here. First is going to be talking a little bit about um, what my plan is for the future. Number one, don't tell the wife. She should already know this here, though. I will switch to an iPad Pro with the M1 chip. And the reason I'm going to do that is I don't want to get hit with the digital divide. The digital divide is basically right now with Procreate, there are two items that I can't use. Number one, I can't use that face thing that they do. Number two, when 5.2 comes out, I will not be able to do 3D modeling or 3D art or whatever. I'm gonna be locked out of that because my system doesn't support that. Because I didn't do the research. I didn't look ahead of time to see that if I had waited eight months, I would have had a better machine and we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. So I don't want to divide myself. Another reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is currently right now in this machine here, when I do 4K video editing, like for this video right here, it's sticky in the software that I use. I use LumaFusion or LumaTouch. Strange thing there is, um, it works, I just have to pause for a couple seconds because the library has to rebuild itself. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it, it does um, kind of mess me up. The next thing is gonna be, I wanna future-proof what I'm doing. Technically, there's nothing wrong with this machine, except it's not capable of doing what I, the next generation can do. And Again, this loops back to the digital divide. So, so let's talk about 3D just for a quick second because Procreate will be getting 3D. Now, originally, these are the same guys that said they were not going to be doing any kind of animation, but they animate now. Speaking of animation, here is an animation that I was working on while I was in Chicago, and believe it or not, it looks really good. I was on vacation in Chicago. Um, this looks really good. It's a quick animation, it's just a mermaid, but it shows the power of the tablet. And this is like eight different frames, tweaked here and there, not even the best tweaks, but it was just me having a little extra time, me trying to experiment. And I wanna do more of this here in the future. And I feel that this device that I have currently right now is not going to serve me. It can serve somebody else, but I need more power. I need more storage space. I need more 
punch. And the very last thing that I'm gonna say before I get out of here is, it is gonna cost me a pretty penny to replace everything that I have for this machine. It's gonna cost me a pretty penny. I don't wanna pay that pretty penny, but this is my way of future-proofing my system. This was supposed to be future-proofing. Believe it or not, this is, I bought this in 2018. And I literally just made the wrong decision. I even made a video about it immediately after finding out about the new machines, newer machines. It's not just the guts I'm going to have to replace. I'm going to have to replace my Apple Pencil because the two pencils are not, they're not the same. I'm gonna have to replace my case and I have choices of colors for my case. Black, brown, green. I'm also gonna to have to get extra cables for the bottom because it uses a different um, type of cable. USB-C plus, AKA Thunderbolt 4. A couple days ago, I made a video with me outside in a sweater. Today, I'm sweating. I don't know if you noticed, but those funny looking ice cubes that I had, they melted. In a cold drink. The end.